Hey everyone and welcome to 5P Designs. Thanks for joining me today. I will be refreshing this little gnome village that I have on my patio shelf. It's a little worn and weathered and needs some help. I'll begin by finishing this house that I never completed. My husband built it with some scrap wood from the shed. I'll be using the outdoor paint there you see. Um, also I have some Dollar Tree supplies, that hay bale you see, the rocks and the floral moss. All of that you can find at any craft store but they do also happen to have it at most Dollar Trees. So I snatched it up. And actually I've been meaning to do this project forever, but I just kept putting it off. But my recent birthday present from my mom, this little pavilion, inspired me to get it done. And it was such a fun project. And I just really love the little flowers you see there in the window box. Just such a nice, cute little touch. I'll also be adding in these uh, fairy lights that I bought from Amazon. They're solar powered super nice and we'll begin with the house and i'll be finishing the popsicle siding all i did was break them with my hands you could use a tool to cut them i just found it pretty easy to break them and then i will be using my hot glue gun to apply them to the sides and in just a minute i will show you the side that i had um, done originally um, there's a little door there with beads and i will be redoing that as well um, and I kind of just stagger the popsicle sticks a little bit so that they're not just uniform looking and then any pieces that are shorter I just snip them off you can see they're the original side so I'll have to replace some of those and meanwhile I'll just fill in the parts that I didn't do at all and that back section I'll actually just leave blank because it'll be against the wall and no one will see it Here is the completed side, it looks pretty good. And next I'll be moving on to the repair job on the side I had done years ago. And it was just like a real house. You start one repair and then you find a bunch of other things that need to be repaired. Luckily, popsicle sticks are far more affordable than materials for a real house. It was much better to handle than that kitchen floor that we had to replace in our home this winter. So I will just continue on and fix this side up. Repairs are mostly done and I have removed the beads that were formerly here for the door and now I'm just fashioning a new door out of popsicle sticks, kind of just designed it as I went. Uh, some of the glue that was previously there was really hard to remove so I just uh, left it there and then patched in with popsicle sticks to make it a little bit level. So not a weather tight door for these little gnomes. I don't think my contractor husband would approve but I did my best.
My little door is complete and I'll be creating a window by filling in the space with a hot glue and then topping that hot glue with little glass seed beads that you can find at any craft store. I used yellow so in hopes that it would look like a warm light coming from the door, a little welcoming gnome house. The little door has been installed with hot glue once again and then I'm moving on to the windows on this side. I decided that they needed a little help as well. So I'm repeating the same thing I did on the front door, hot glue and the little seed beads to give it some warmth. Now this side actually didn't turn out as great as the other one. My hot glue gun was like clogged with something and I had these big blobs of glue uh, so I left it but wasn't totally in love also I had run out of the yellow beads so I used well I had a little bit left so I used gray and yellow um, so if I could do it over again I probably would so maybe in a few years I will end up doing again <laughs> we'll keep giving this house little remodels and see how long it can last This cute little birdhouse unfortunately is falling apart and even though it only cost about I think a dollar at the craft store to purchase another one, I decided to uh, save it and give it a little makeover. So I'm just disassembling it and later I'll be painting the sides with the bronze paint that I have and giving it a new roof. Here's the little birdhouse in its original form and now I will be moving on to painting the popsicle siding of the, I think I just said siding, I meant siding of the gnome house. So I'll just give that paint a shake. It's the folk art brand from one of the craft stores that I visit, I think probably AC Moore and it's an outdoor variety. So I'll give this a quick coat of paint and it'll look all freshened up. Next step, I am taking Waverly paint from Walmart and painting the front door. And I also went ahead and painted the frames of the windows because I didn't like how they looked in white. I wanted them to stand out more. For our little birdhouse, I painted the sides the same bronze color as I did the front door of the house. And now I'm just taking my glue gun and putting on the stones that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and it'll have a cute little stone roof when it's all done. Now that all of the components of our gnome village are spiffied up and given a refresh, I'll be arranging them on the shelf, refreshing the moss there and placing the fairy lights. Thank you. 
I believe our little gnome village is complete. This is the daytime view. Stick with me for a little bit and I'll show you the nighttime view with the fairy lights twinkling. Um, I think I need something between the bird, two birdhouses. I might do one of those little metal archways. I'm not sure, I think it needs something. And the nighttime video, you'll see that I put a huge pine cone there. I'm not sure if I like it. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed today's project. Thank you. 